So today I'm going to be giving you my top five affordable places to visit in Botswana. <laughs> Doctors don't have cute handwritings. Here we, here we. Doctors' handwritings are unreadable. Lume English, more lume. Let me show you. Hey guys, English young Kamata. I took down cute little notes of places on my bucket list. What's on your bucket list? And number one on the list is Elephant Havens. So we have an Elephant Havens, which is a foundation that takes care of elephants. You can go there. There's no accommodation provided, unfortunately. You go there for a day trip. Local price is 250 pula. It's located in Maum. So what activities they have there is you can pet, you can nurse, you can feed a baby elephant, you can get to see them and find out their stories. Most of them are often from poachers and you know they what they basically do is they they help them rehabilitate candy rehabilitate take them back into the wild you can foster an elephant what you should do is when you get there or you can go online and find out how you can help how you can donate so number two on the list is also in Mahung. it's called royal tree lodge so royal tree lodge is known for their horseback riding it's like they have guided horseback riding safari so you can do that um, I had called them as well and they told me that they're currently having a promotion that will start from June to July which is 1,500 pula per person and that 1,500 pula includes breakfast, lunch and dinner as well as activities so this is something that you guys should definitely consider doing. I forgot to mention so Royal Tree Lodge is a four-star luxury camping so you can experience the beauty that we have in our country luxury they also have high tea so their service um is impeccable so that's one thing i want to experience <laughs> number three on my list is elephants so this also has the same theme with the first one on the list which is elephants um I wish we had something like this called giraffes elephant so. sands is located in nata which is 600 and 20 kilometers away from Gab, so it's like a six seven hour drive probably gonna be fun times with your pals and just grab a cooler grab some snacks and just drive out so elephant sands offers accommodation for two people valued at 1320 pula and they also have camping. Take your tent with, you bring your own tenting and equipment and they give you like an area, a designated area. They also area. Have, um, offer a bush fry and they also offer a game drive. So that is something that is interesting to see. And Nata, Nata is also one of those areas that is full of wildlife. So you'll definitely love it. And the pictures galore if you're into making your feed or you're into photography. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Number four on my list is Manung Game Lodge. Game Lodge is doing absolutely amazing. I remember last year or two years ago, they were doing a massive marketing campaign. Um, the activities that they have. Ooh, let me not even go into activities yet. So Manung Game Lodge is located on the Khaborone Lobate Road. So that's like a 20-minute drive away out of Gabs and... They offer a lot of things. They offer the um, spa treatments. So if you want a massage, you can go get a massage there. You can book one there. Um, you can. They also offer Segway drives. So Segways are like the. I don't know how to describe Segways. I got a thing in with two wheels. For Manon Game Launch, a weekend for two people is one thousand six hundred and fifty pula, and they only have rooms for two people. That's accommodate two people oh they also have an obstacle course i was shocked when the lady was telling me over the phone i'm like obstacle course she's like yeah it's really fun so i'm like okay definitely gonna add this we interrupt this program to bring you a short ad break not sponsored by enigate Okay, number 10. me and numbers not friends this is double and camel park i really tried to get as much information as possible on Dublin Camel Park. 
online they only had 2016 ratings and when I tried to call them, they were not picking up. So Zabong Camel Park is located in Zabong and they offer camel rides. And this is something that I really, really want to do. So that's number five on my list. And we're done with my top five places on my bucket list that are affordable in Botswana. Oh, <laughs> there's a bonus one. There's a bonus one. Now this one I really, really want to do. I've done it before but I want to do it again I want to go on a helicopter ride so there's actually a place that offers that in Kasani so guys and it's affordable um, this is Pyrus Eat. this is a locally owned business so they don't offer accommodation but they do offer activities in Kasani uh, they are located in Kasani I, I said I'm gonna say it again and a helicopter ride for one person is 1,500 pula. Guys, I don't think 1.5 is like too much, especially for a helicopter ride, especially when it's something on your bucket list. Save, 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 and make sure you get it done. So it's 15 minutes over the Chobe National Park, and you can see Sidudu Island. I don't know if you've heard of that place, but this is one of the most beautiful areas that we have in the Delta. And Sorondela as well. They also offer quad biking if you're interested in that with a guide for one hour. So yes, that's it. I'm done and I hope you'd be tuned into my next video. If you made it this far, then it clearly means you love my kind of content. Make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. It's kind of hard making, giving you guys content, especially since I travel and that's the, the aim of the content, the aim of the, the, the YouTube, the aim of the vlog, to give you guys travel content, especially Botswana content. So until they let us out, this will probably be how you'll be seeing me from now on, you know? Yeah, I found a room in my, in my house that I can film and... Yes. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs>